What's going on? How is it multiplayer? <laughs> we did nothing. Yeah, um, it's the only thing I know that does quick look with one click, you know, and with also with interactions with the everything action, which is amazing. Thank you for having me. Uh, my name is Martin Fir. Uh, I said I'm a generalist from Slovenia. Whatever it takes to get the project done, I'll do it. I'm from modeling, animation, conce conceptualization, rigging, optimization. Uh, yeah, uh, everything. Um, we have been in the 3D space for about 10 years, last four operating in the studio um, with my colleagues. Um, if we need like a developer or someone, um, we outsource them. But uh, as long for the project or web apps, we've been mostly doing VFX stuff and like CGI stuff, mostly pre-rendered stuff, compositing. But like for the last year, when we found out about Needle and we, when we found the engine, um, we started doing like 3D experiences and web pages because it's like um, it really eased up a lot of like developer work. It's very artist friendly. So, yeah. For um, from when we knew about Needle Engine, we started um, doing like web experiences. So we had a problem with um, making a 3D web AR experience for iOS. We didn't find anything substance to do that. And then we found Needle Engine, which had the like USDZ exporter and quick look components. And that was amazing. That was the first thing that actually worked so we never, as I said, we're artists. We we code a bit, but you know we can develop shit for ourselves. Okay, can I use shit? <laughs> I can do Shiza. <laughs> thing we use mostly is Blender and Unity. Like, and when we found out that Needle has a direct implementation, it was a no-brainer. Of course, yeah, we're gonna use that. Okay, so. When you open it, um, you, you're received by a great looking ass from our character that tur jiggles it a bit and turns around. And there's um, uh, two buttons on the middle, which uh, change the animation. And then you have a choice, like if you go forward, you, you'll, you'll get a run cycle, a walk cycle, just like a, a different like basic animations. And then you have on the top or on the bottom, you have a button for changing outfits, uh, text above him saying who he is, he's the action button. Um, and also we put like in the background, a sphere with kind of lines. So it looks like a sun. So for, for a little extra flair. Um, firstly, the uh, workflow was any, um, asset authoring, so modeling, animation, and Blender, and then exporting GLTFs to Unity, and then doing um, <clears throat> the scene with Needle Engine. So why we used it is, as again I said, um, is the only thing I know that does quick look, look, or it does it with one click, you know. And with also with interactions with the everything action, which is amazing. Um, and the like the team play was amazing because we had really fast response. Um, we could build it fast, we could see it fast, you could build it on the on the GitHub, you know, you can see it on the phone. It was really quick. Um, the workflow was was very fast and, and agile, yeah. Um, like we had one moment at the beginning when we tried and built the on uh, built on github the sandbox scene with the you know with the pots turning around and like me and the guys had like all um uh, everyone was on their phones uh, trying the same build and when we saw it's multiplayer we started screaming <laughs> Because it was so amazing <laughs> to have look. It was really uh, it didn't lag. It was no latency, and it, uh, it worked flawlessly. We were screaming in our office, like, "What? What's going on? How is it multiplayer? <laughs> we did nothing." Yeah, was, that was like yeah the the peak, the peak moment. I think um, when we have a done model in Blender, so with rig and animations, we import it into Unity, where Needle Engine comes up. So we um, yeah, load, of course, the um, components and then make a GLTF object with the AR uh, XR component on it. Um, we also, I think, yeah, we also put a um, orbit, like a camera orbit thingy you have in your, in your core package. What, what we used Needle for was more of a exporting it to like different platforms, also web. So we're mostly Windows users, but we have like Macs and the um, USDZ exporting library, right? 
where you can put into GLTF files and with outputs USDZ files, right? But that didn't work for some reason because again, we're artists. Yep, we don't know to do that. Um, but with Needle comes a great uh, USDZ exporter. So uh, that was really amazing because you you can test it then. Like I know what Needle does um, exporting USDZ on the edge. But like for testing purposes, it's great to have the file in just to see the load times, you know, what we can optimize more. Um, and that was uh, that, that was one of the most amazing things about it as the USDZ exporter, I think. So for everyone wanting to do like web experiences or just um, build something for the web or um, like a AR experience, I really recommend Needle Engine. And please, for the love of God, read the documentation. And yeah, amazing, amazing support, uh, amazing community. I love it. Like from the page to the forums to the Discord. Great.